Morning, everybody. We're here at the World Meeting of Families with Marge Fenelon, who's the author of the new book. Just came out, right? Our Lady Undoer of Knots, which we're really excited about, and it's very well timed with the Pope's visit here. Um, let's start right there with the with the book. Our Lady Undoer, Undoer of Knots is a pretty special devotion to Pope Francis, and this book exactly. has a lot of Pope Francis in it. So exactly, and that's that's why that's why the whole concept for the book. Now, I had a personal devotion mm-hmm. to Our Lady Undoer of Knots. And then upon finding out that the Holy Father, you know, we're kindred spirits, so to speak, and and that that piqued my interest. And I was also there in May 2014 when the Holy Father went on his famous pilgrimage Mm -hmm. to the Holy Land, his historic Mm -hmm. pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Mm -hmm. I was traveling there with the Catholic Press Association Mm -hmm. as part of that that whole entourage yeah, right. and, and and observed the Holy Father and, and was able to listen to his words and and I let it sink in and so when I came back and I was redigesting the the trip and, and realizing this all goes together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My impressions and and the Holy Father's impressions and our our mutual love for our Lady and Doer of God, mm-hmm. it just all came together. So what what we have is is it's 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 an arm armchair pilgrimage, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so it's part devotional, it's part travel guide, and and wholly inspirational in yeah. in you know pun intended in in many different ways. Well, that's what we loved about the book that it wasn't just a <clears throat> prayer guide, how to pray the Our Lady of you know the, the devotion, but it was really a whole exploration of the Holy Father and the devotion and the pilgrimage as well. So, uh, so how did, how did you tie the two together? Because you were there in the pilgrimage. And how did you connect the, the devotion, Our Lady of Undur of Nats, to this um, pilgrimage to the Holy Land? I didn't do it at the time. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it wasn't. I wasn't on my mind. What was on my mind there was just to take it all in and try to sure. absorb. It was. It was such an amazing trip because the Holy Father was there, and then it was my first time in the Holy Land. So, sure. so to be in the Holy Land and the Holy Father there oh, was. So, so oh, wow. my job for me was to just just take it all in yeah. and bring it home. And when I came home, and and started thinking about what do I do with this gift because the trip really was for me a gift to yeah. be chosen you had to apply and, and I was I applied and I was chosen for that trip and I thought how do I give back mm-hmm. and 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 more and more you know we were seeing in the media about the Holy Father's devotion our lady of doer under of knots mm-hmm. and I thought okay here here I don't you know it's a little bit hard to explain because so much of this happens in the heart sure. All of my writing happens moving. in my right. heart before it goes through my fingertips. But that yeah. it, it it came slowly and dawned on me bit by bit that this yeah. is this is how I want because I wanted to tell the world about what I experienced there, and I needed the, the vehicle, so to speak, to tell that. Mm-hmm. And and Our Lady and Doer of Knots became the vehicle, the the novena, you know, the idea of a novena yeah. to walk. And also, I was touched. I, I was so touched by the Holy Father's pleas for peace. Yeah. While he was there, yeah, and to untie those knots that are keeping us separated, and he said it in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the book, I've I've quoted him, and and he, he, time and time again, he's saying it again and again, but he's saying it in different ways. And for me, what really got me thinking in terms of putting the novena together was that, well, where does that peace begin? It begins not in the world; it begins really in our hearts, and in our after that beyond that in our homes Mm -hmm. and then finally we bring priests to the world we have to start here Mm -hmm. and so that's the goal of the book is to is to start working on ourselves Mm -hmm. to untie those knots Mm -hmm. through our lady's intercession so that we can truly bring peace everywhere where where did this devotion this novena um, start in your heart when when, when were you kind of attracted to it for the first for the first time you know i i don't remember the exact date and Mm -hmm. i've been asked that so many times because when something becomes a part of you, yeah, you it, it sort of isn't important anymore, the, yeah. exact, the exact date. But I do remember I was going through a very, very difficult time. And literally, I felt like my life was just knotted up. Mm-hmm. I needed answers. Mm-hmm. I needed to be able to guide others. And, and I was at, at Sunday Mass, and, and the priest, who was giving the homily, a very learned, very well-traveled priest, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he started talking about Our Lady and Doer of Knots. And he had been there, and he also was very devoted to this this novena, and mm-hmm. he talked about how powerful it is, and he he challenged us to try it. Yeah. And I'll take a challenge. No. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> just offer me a challenge, and I'm there. But it, but it just so enticed me because I knew that this was, I hoped at least at that moment, the answer to what I was looking for, my knots, and that's yeah. how it started. Because I thought, okay, I'll give it a try, and I prayed it, and 
I didn't receive, oh, it wasn't just a magical, okay, everything is all smooth. Mm -hmm. But I could immediately see how Our Lady was beginning to undo all of these knots because it was a lot. I know the exhibit hall is starting up pretty soon and you're going to be book signing here. So we're, I am. We're going to we'll continue talking until some people come in. But um, can you t for people that may not know a lot about the, the devotion, can you tell us a little bit, if, if you were give, giving a presentation or talking about it for the first time, somebody had never heard of it, okay. what would you say? It, it began in the 17th century. A married mm -hmm. couple, it was Wolfgang and Sophie. Its oh, cool last names. names are not <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, they're very cool names. The, the last names are even cooler, yeah. but in any case, Case, uh, marital problems. They were having marital problems. Um, Wolfgang <clears throat> went to a father, Jacob Rem, mm -hmm. for guidance. He didn't really know what to do. And, and through meeting together and praying together to the Blessed Mother, uh, Father Rem came up with this idea of, mm. of for, Jake, uh, for Wolfgang to bring his marriage ribbon in. It, the, that, that's what the ribbon in the painting is. Oh, it's, a, it's an old custom. Where when the, bride, the the man and woman get married, the bride and groom, they the, their hands are tied together mm -hmm. with a silk ribbon to right. to demonstrate to symbolize that unity. And so Father J, Father Rem asked Wolfgang bring in the ribbon, and they presented it to Our Lady together, and and prayed to her and asked for a resolution in this marriage, and it it worked immediately. There were, they found ways to reconcile, uh, and they yeah. ended up happily married for many, many more years. And so uh, that, that's the very nut and bolt of that yeah. the devotion. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Uh, um, well, good. Um, let's change the transition a little bit to this week. I know that the devotion is kind of special for Pope Francis, and there's a chapel here in Philadelphia. It has, oh, yes. But, you know, can you tell us about that? Have you, yes. I heard you've been there. So. I, I, I <laughs> had to. I sure. had to. There, there's an artist, Meg Seligman. She's an amazing woman. She, she formed a grotto of wood. The wood is made into a lattice. Mm, wow. It's kind of woven it's beautiful because it looks pictures. like a knot. It <clears> throat> looks, throat> and she made this, this, this grotto, which, which is, is dome shaped, and it's, mm -hmm. it's about 20 feet high. I mean, it's not a tiny thing by any means. She um, invited people to submit petitions. And which are written on ribbons. They have volunteers. They have. She oh told me they were nearing 100,000 petitions yeah. on the day I was there, and I think that was a couple of days ago. Oh gosh! And then you can you can add these online. So there's a place. Yes, where you, can you can do it enter online. Them exactly. They'll, they'll, oh. Or you can go there. They had it oh, was great. crowded. They had people I'm writing sure. on the ribbons with marker. There, and then what they're doing is they're tying them to the and weaving them into this lattice work of yeah. of the grotto. Wow. It's it's. I don't have any words because it's so amazing to see all of these petitions. And the custom, what, what, the, what Meg explained to me, is that you, you, ta you, you take and you, no, you give and you take. In other words, you, you leave a ribbon there, mm -hmm. and before you go, choose one. You don't take it with you, but read the intention and then commit to praying for that mm -hmm. one when you go home. And I, <clears throat> I, I thought, oh, I, you know, I, maybe I better not start reading them. I'll read them all and I yeah. want to pray for everybody. And I, don't, I, can't, mm -hmm. I didn't know I won't be able to do it justice. But I saw mm -hmm. one with a child's handwriting. And I felt drawn to that. And I picked it up. I couldn't even read the writing. But there are an awful lot of hearts oh, scribbled. Oh and not scribbled. I'm sure it was done. But, you know, it, was, it must have been a really little kid. Lots and lots of hearts on the ribbon. Oh. And I thought, that one, there. I mean, yeah. Whatever it is, Lord, Blessed Mother, you know what this, what's in this child's heart when, when yeah. he or she was drawing this. So I will pray for that child. So I'm, yeah. I'm carrying that child in my heart. Oh, right. but the power of prayer. I can't imagine the miracles that are going to work because of that, that gift. Um, yes. Wow, that's beautiful. But what, what are your plans for the rest of the week? I mean, for the rest of the week. Thursday, right? <laughs> so, it's there. Well, so the we're, we're almost there. Yeah, yeah it, I, going with the flow, yeah. meeting as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and taking in, yeah, this is a once-in-a-lifetime really opportunity, yeah. so to take in as much as I can mm -hmm. uh, while I'm here and, and to be grateful, to give uh, gratitude, yeah. gratitude for all of these. The families are amazing. Yeah. They're just, it's fun to see. There's lots of smiles here around, which is, which is really great. So, well, Marge, thanks for the gift. I'll let you get to your book signing here, right. and uh, thanks for being here with us today, and have a great week, okay? Thanks. You okay. too. All right. Bye, everybody.